Today I'm going to be um, distilling lime essential oil. What I'm going to do is um, peel these limes. I picked up some bags at Costco and um, you can do that by scoring it like this um, and then peeling back. Just pull it like that, and you've got a nice peel. Um, after I get all the peel, what I'm going to do is um, use a dehydrator and dry it up, make it smaller to be able to fit more in the still. So this is what um, three bags of Costco limes looks like, the peel. Um, I'm just going to chop it up into smaller pieces. Um, to go into the uh, dehydrator, so just pieces about this size. Let's see how that works out. Here are the limes, uh, the lime skins uh, prepped to go into the dehydrator. Um, I'm just saving the uh, peeled limes for juicing later on. So here's my food dehydrator. It's uh, an Excalibur uh, 9 tray. It's uh, supposed to be really good. It's got 15 square feet of drying space. And um, I'll take off the cover here. You see the 9 trays. And I'm going to load these up with the limes. So um, we've got the limes all set on the, in the uh, dehydrator. They did use all all nine trays and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the temperature here to uh, about 110 start with that for eight hours and it's just kicked on I'm going to check that at uh, about six hours to see where we're at then we just hang this cover right up it's not airtight so it gives you a Okay, so I had said I was going to have this on for eight hours and check it at six. Um, this thing really pumped out um, the water out of these things and they're uh, actually dry. And, uh, it's been mostly the thin ones are, are brittle even. So um, it's been about three and a half hours and I'm going to pull this and let it rest for a moment while I get the still set up for the essential oil. So this here is the result of three and a half hours in the dehydrator. Um, if you remember earlier in the video, this was overflowing um, with this rind here. Um, and now the pieces are anywhere from kind of crunchy to spongy, um, but it's lost about 50% of its weight. It seems roughly eyeballing it. So we had uh, exactly three large Costco uh, bags of lime um, dehydrated, obviously, um, fits perfectly into the biomass flask. So I'm excited about the efficiency of that. So this is at one hour of boiling and we have a decent amount of essential oil, it's clear. Um, there seems to be a lot of pressure, probably because the biomass flask is stuffed pretty full. This has been distilling for about 12 hours over the past two days. Um, at first, I was disappointed with the amount of oil that I was getting out of this. But um, as you can see, I've got quite a bit here. And it's just been a very slow process. So I'm just going to keep this going and add some more ice to the ice bath. and see what I can get for the rest of the evening so this is what I have left right here is the essential oil I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Here is the lime essential oil. Not too bad, not too good. I would definitely not do it again. 
based on all of the work that I put into peeling the lime and dehydrating the lime. Um, I didn't get all that much oil out of it. However, it smells great. And uh, if I were you, I'd buy dried lime peel. Thank you, Sarah, for doing a fantastic job. She did all of the filming on this video.